Hi everybody, Glenn here. Today we're going to interface a SparkFun 32x32 RGB LED matrix to a Beagle Bone Black using a Logibone FPGA board. This SparkFun LED matrix is really cool. It has 1024 RGB LEDs on it, and you can control the brightness and color of every LED independently. There are two downsides though. The only real documentation is Adafruit's Arduino library on GitHub. The second downside is a display has to be continuously refreshed, otherwise the display goes blank. We're going to take advantage of the hardware we have here and offload the task of refreshing the display to the FPGA. This will leave the BeagleBone Black CPU free for other tasks. Now let's hook up the hardware. You're going to need 16 jumper wires to connect the display to the LogiBone FPGA board. Three of these jumper wires connect grounds between the two boards together. The other 13 are connected from the display to output pins on the FPGA. The display has two sets of column inputs. I've connected those, which are on the top half of the display's connector, to the PMOD1 connector on the Logibone board. Then you also need four um, row address selects, which are these yellow wires here. I've connected those to the top half of the PMOD2 connector. And then there's a blanking a latch and a shift clock signal. Those are down here at the bottom of this connector, and I have those connected to the bottom half of the PMOD2 connector. Finally, you're going to need a 3.3 volt 2 amp power supply. I'm using a Keithley bench supply set to 3.3 volts with the current limiting set to 2 amps. Once the hardware is hooked up, let's flip everything over, connect the BeagleBone to power on the network, and start looking at the software and FPGA configuration. Now that the BeagleBone is booted, I'm going to run the shell script that sets up the device tree, and I'm going to configure the FPGA using the bit file I built earlier. I've got some uh, quick software that displays a static image. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And there it is. There's a picture of a beagle. The picture of the beagle is uh, stored in a file on the beagle bone. The software on the beagle bone opens that file, feeds the image data to the FPGA, and then the FPGA begins scanning the display with the data. I also have some uh, software that I wrote that displays Perlin noise on the panel. I'm going to uh, run that real fast. So what's happening now is software running on the beagle bone is generating an image of Perlin noise. About 50 times a second, this image is fed to a display buffer in the FPGA. As soon as the FPGA is done scanning the previous buffer, it reads the buffer that the image was just read into and displays that. And this repeats about 50 times a second and you get this nice pseudo-random image on the matrix. Let's take a closer look at the system. Here's a block diagram. On the left is software running on the BeagleBone Black that generates patterns. These patterns are fed over the GPMC bus to the LogiBone FPGA. Inside the LogiBone FPGA are some dual port memories that contain two frame buffers and then a display controller. And this display controller reads the contents of the dual port memory, turns it into a format that's acceptable by the display, and then outputs it on the PMOD 1 and 2 connectors. Finally, on the right, you see the image on the LED matrix. Let's run about 60 seconds worth of patterns in here just so you can see some of the capabilities. This is just a simple wipe of some uh, primary colors. Uh, color wash from the bottom of the display to the top of the display. Pseudo-random twinkling pattern. Another uh, solid color wipe. Another variation of Perlin noise. Finally, a circle radiating outward from the center of the display. I hope you found this demonstration and brief tutorial interesting. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ah uh, yeah, one more thing. Remember what I said earlier about if you stop refreshing the panel, the image goes away? Well, we're going to simulate that by holding down the reset button on the FPGA and see what happens. Sure enough, the image went away. That's all for now. Thanks again. Bye.